our mixed drinks, our alcoholic cocktails from Starbucks have arrived. They're actually preparing dishes like pizza, all kinds of other ciabatta rolls. I think I'm actually gonna dive on into this pizza first because this looks impressive. Okay, wow, this looks amazing, guys. So yeah, we got the matcha down at the bottom. You can tell that it's definitely infused with soda because it's bubbling and ice cream with the cherry on top. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another beautiful day here in Tokyo, Japan. Now, today I have a very special video planned for you guys because we're actually gonna be visiting one of the largest Starbucks reserve locations in the entire world. Now, fun fact, this building right behind me used to be the largest Starbucks in the entire world up until 2019 when they opened the Starbucks Reserve in Chicago. Now, right now, because it is a rainy day here in Tokyo, there's actually no line, surprisingly, to enter. So today, I'm gonna give you guys a tour of the Starbucks Reserve here in Tokyo, and I'm gonna show you guys what kind of unique items we can find on the menu, what kind of unique coffees, and of course, give you guys a tour of this beautiful facility because this Starbucks location is actually several floors and they even have a terrace, which is quite impressive. And let me just tell you guys, from the outside, from the first impressions, it looks like this could be, I don't know, some sort of luxurious five-star dining restaurants, but no, it is a Starbucks. This here is what I mean, guys. I mean, look at the building, so beautiful. And yeah, there's a bunch of tourists outside taking pictures. And if we actually cross the street, we can get a closer glance at um, a couple of the signs that are located on the outside. So the R with the line and the star actually signifies that this here is a Starbucks Reserve Roastery, as you can also read right there in front of us. And then over in this direction, you actually have this sign with the R and the star, and it says that on the first floor, there is a Spiritu di Milano. I'm not sure what that means. I haven't walked inside. Then there's a Tevana, which is like the tea selection of Starbucks. Then there's an Ariviamo bar. Sounds extremely interesting. I'm excited. Let's dive on in and explore what used to be the largest Starbucks in the world, but still is one of the largest. So as soon as you enter, you're greeted by this sign right here that actually says, in 1971, Starbucks opened in Seattle's Pike's Place Market and began a journey that has taken our coffee around the world. We are honored to create this one-of-a-kind roastery in Tokyo. Come explore, discover the art, science, and cafe, and craft of truly inspired coffee. Every cup we've ever served has led us here. Welcome. And here is a guide of what you can find on all four floors. A four-floor Starbucks, incredible. On the basement, you got restrooms. On the first floor, you got the main roaster, main bar, Princey Bakery, retail area, coffee scooping bar. Then we have Tivana Bar, the tea scooping bar, retail area. And then on the third floor, we got the Arivamo Bar, Starbucks Reserve Cold Brew Bar, micro roaster, and the terrace. And then on the fourth, they have a lounge. So I'm quite impressed. From the moment you walk in the door, you actually get handed this card that says Starbucks Reserve Roastery Tokyo. And on the back, it has a brief description of what you can find on every floor, which I actually just got done explaining. But let me just tell you guys, this Starbucks smells so much different than any other location I've ever been to. I can smell a strong scent of pizza, which is very weird, and a mix of coffee. Now, right here, as soon as you walk in through the door, you're actually gonna be able to see so much merch that the reserve location here in Tokyo has. And a lot of the pieces are unique to this location. And it turns out that right now, we're actually visiting during the fourth year anniversary of the opening of this location. So there's all kinds of merchandise that you would probably not be able to find during any other occasion um, here in Tokyo. And something I've never seen in a Starbucks location merchandise section before are coffee machines. Yes, you can purchase all kinds of different coffee preparing equipment. I actually like this one right here. This looks almost like a little kettle, um, another little extremely modern coffee machine. Then over here, you got a coffee grinder. Wow, awesome, 60,500. Not even sure exactly how much that is, but I think that's around, what, 400 US dollars? $441, <laughs> and you can get yourself a coffee grinder from the Starbucks Reserve here in Tokyo. Now, I'm quite disappointed now that I've walked into this location because I've traveled all around the world, and this is the first Starbucks Reserve location I've ever stepped foot in. Oh, really? That's I... weird, huh? No way, Jose. How many have you been to now? I don't know, I haven't counted, but I went one in Mexico, this one here, 
Um, what else? I don't know. I need to remember. But, but you've been a to few. a few. Is yes. this one the best one you've been to? Yes, this one is the best. It's really like luxurious and it's crazy because they sell even bread like if it's a bakery you know really and um, Starbuck reserve is very special because they have a, a different um, extraction methods for the cafe so you can taste not only different coffees from all around the world that that are hand-picked but also they can taste different because of the extraction methods wow interesting gladys is a huge starbucks fan so i came with the right person wow so this here is the main roastery guys and this is where all of the coffee beans come out to get roasted and this is what i'm talking about they actually come well from this roasting area up these pipes from these bins to all of the different coffee stations throughout the entire store so it's a quite complicated process but super cool you can tell they definitely put a lot of love into this location and yeah being able to see like the behind the scenes of the beans that you're actually going to be able to taste here in the location is quite cool arigato wow that is awesome and yes the staff are incredibly friendly but look at that line that is a long line to order some coffee but guess what we're in Tokyo, we're at the Starbucks Reserve. We're waiting in that line. I'm gonna do the line while you make a loop. You want to? Okay, yeah, let's do that. Or should we go another? Should we go order some stuff from the top floors and work yeah. our way down? Yeah. Let's do that, actually. So yeah, this here is the line where everybody's placing their orders for coffees and also snacks like these. I mean, look at all these freshly baked croissants, sandwiches, so many different pastries to choose from. And now we're gonna make our way up to the next floor because yes, this line is incredibly long. I also really love the outfits that they wear here at the Starbucks. I mean, look, they're kind of like jean flannels with uh, boots and hats. And what is going on here? This looks pretty interesting as well. They're bags of coffee from around the world. Wow, look, they got bags from Colombia, Indonesia, Papua New Guinea. This is impressive. And look at the views from up here. That is super cool. And this here is the bakery section of the Starbucks Reserve. How impressive is this, guys? Even if you're not a huge Starbucks fan, I know you guys can appreciate this. The amount of love that they put into their craft is quite unreal. Look at all the bread that they have. And of course, they make all kinds of sweet treats as well. Look at the ciabatta, ciabatta chocolate, ciabatta berry, ciabatta pistachio. They even have like some, um, yeah, pistachio swirls. Now over in this direction, they're actually preparing dishes like pizza, all kinds of other ciabatta rolls. I've never seen this before at any of the, of the many locations that I've been to around the world of just regular Starbucks. This is awesome. Now I see what the hype is all about. I mean, the Starbucks Reserve is a world on its own. This I is told you, it's insane. Amazing. All right, I told you guys we were going to go all the way up to the top first. I lied, this pizza smells too good and I'm too hungry to pass this up. So you know what, let's try a couple of treats from this first floor and then we'll work our way up because all of this looks too dang good. Now, over here they actually have all kinds of different uh, pies and cakes as well. They got the pizzas, the croissant sections. I'd love to take home one of those big slabs of bread as well, but what am I possibly gonna be doing with a slab of bread inside of my hotel room? For now, let's stick with the pizza. Okay, so they got margarita pizza. They're out of the spinach and ricotta. They also have truffle salami and ricotta, which looks pretty damn good as well. And look at these guys, they have calzones. Calzones, a seafood and a chicken calzone. Oh man, this is gonna be some tough decisions. A lot of good stuff to choose from. But I think, you know what, I'm actually gonna go with the focaccia pizza over in the back and maybe a slice of the margarita as well. Just made it back to the table and I actually ordered a few items. I got this Solato Sumuchi. I'm not too sure exactly what this is, but it looks pretty damn bomb. I got this pistachio that has like a pistachio sauce dribbled on top, crushed pistachios, powdered sugar as well. And in the inside, look at that guys. Wow, that looks impressive. And then of course I got the Fogaccio pizza that's like loaded with ham. Now, I can't lie to you guys. 
the prices, they're a bit hefty, about double of what you could expect to spend at a normal Starbucks. This pizza was roughly $9, but it looks incredible. The pistachio uh, croissant was roughly six US dollars. And then this down here, that I already forgot the name of, Solata Solumi, was roughly five US dollars. However, you're experiencing a unique Starbucks location in Tokyo. Who cares about the price, right guys? All right, you know what? I think I'm actually gonna dive on into this pizza first because this looks impressive. Now, it sucks that the beverage line is so long. Even right now, as I'm slicing this pizza, it's so long. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to get something to eat right this moment, but it's okay. We got three more floors to cover here at the Starbucks Reserve in Tokyo. All right. Now we're gonna do this because I know Gladys is behind the camera drooling right now. I'm gonna try the pizza and then we're gonna get her on in here to get the first bite of this pistachio croissant because it would be wrong for me to do that to her <laughs> behind the camera. Mm. You know what? That is one hell of a pizza. It is cold. They actually don't reheat it up for you, but she said it was fresh. Made about 30 minutes ago. But yeah, it is cold, but very delicious. Mm. And the location as a whole is extremely beautiful, guys. It's so nice. Oh, wow, look at the napkins. Those look pretty fancy as well. Not the little Starbucks mermaid you're used to seeing. But you know what? Who needs a nice napkin? Oh, man. All right, you know what? Let's take a bite of the, the, whatever this thing is called, I already forgot. And then I'll bring Gladys on over here to try this pistachio croissant. Wow. Yo, that is crazy good. So it has like a, that's way better than the pizza. It's a mouthful of flavors. This is actually like cheese egg, and it's like a fried cheese up top, egg and ham. Oh man, and the texture is like a croissant. It's absolutely perfect. I need to definitely learn the name of this one because I can't go the rest of my life without trying this again. And now I got the star of the show about to try the pistachio croissant. Are you excited? Yes, I cannot wait, as you can tell. Okay, let me try it. I'm so jealous right now. I want to bite into that so bad. It's creamy. Mm. It is not crazy sweet, but it's definitely very, very delicious. But you know what? I'm dying to try the pizza too. Can I try your pizza? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, let me try this. I'm not a fan because this is cold, but looks very delicious as well. Let me try it. Mm. Mm. Very soft. Mm. The jam or ham? Jam or ham? The ham. The ham. Okay. <laughs> I always get confused with that. The ham is mm, very fresh and delicious. I'm excited to go to the other floors to see what we discover in there. No, it's quite funny. I brought my laptop to come here and what I thought was gonna happen is I was gonna come here, order some coffee and work after I filmed this video, but this is actually like not one of those locations where there's plenty of places to sit down and like plug your laptop in. So I'll probably be leaving the Starbucks reserve and heading over to another Starbucks location. But dang, this is sick. Like all the details are fully here at this location. These are all like coffee cups and mugs. What are, what are the green ones up there saying? Oh, Tivana, Tivana. That's awesome. All right, let's make our way up here. Oh man. And you get another smell the moment you walk up here. Now it smells very much like tea. So nice. And there's not as big of a line up here as there was downstairs. I don't know why. Are people sleep on the Tivana section? You know what? Let's get in line first right away because, man, that pizza, all of that salt, 
You got me extremely thirsty. So Gladys is actually gonna sit here and make the line. I'm gonna try and catch up to you, but let me just show you guys around. I mean, it's pretty cool that they have all of the different teas that you can actually view right in front of you. And then this here is like the tea bar. So you can actually choose a seat right along the sides and watch how they brew your tea right in front of you. Then over here, they got like some seating area. And then it looks like this might be what? Oh, some merch, more merch just for the Tivana section. That's interesting. So yeah, look, they got cups, mugs. You can get some tea to take home with you. That actually looks pretty dang cool and like a nice souvenir to take home. And then over here, it looks like, oh, kind of like the coffee bean section downstairs. You can mix up your teas or choose a certain selection and actually pay by the 100 gram portion, which is very nice. And then over here, there's a little sign that says crafted for a vibrant life. Selecting from fine teas and botanicals, we, imagine, we reimagine tea into vibrant experiences to uplift your body, mind and spirit. Delightfully unexpected ingredients and flavors infuse every day with brilliance. Now this is super awesome guys because as you're sitting at the Tivana bar you can actually see how they're extracting um, the tea with the boiling water. I've never seen this system before but it's super nice and man the sense that you're getting from this tea is incredible. It's beyond me. I've never seen anything quite like this before and Gladys actually ordered another dessert as well. This one here looks super nice. What is this Gladys? Berry and pistachio. Berry and pistachio, like a tart? Yeah. Interesting, all right. Well, they actually give you like this um, little buzzer, Tavana buzzer that's gonna buzz once our matcha cream soda is ready. I'm excited. I think that one is the most popular because a lot of people, is, um, they're drinking that They're drinking one. it, yeah. even this lady right next to us. So yeah, I'm super excited for that. And yeah, as I mentioned, the scent, the smells, man. It smells like um, flowers, uh, fruits. I smell like hibiscus. Yeah, hibiscus. It's very nice. Now it's my turn. You know, I couldn't just watch her eat that and say, this tastes like really good quality butter without trying it. <laughs> <laughs> you did me like that for reals? Oh man. <laughs> hey, this is a great way to kill time while you wait for your tea though or your matcha cream soda. Buy yourself something sweet. Why not? Get something sweet on every floor, right? I'm good. I was about to... No, for real, I'm gonna give this one to you. Okay. I, I was about to eat the loaf lemon cake, but I was like, no, that's too normal. I can find that one in all, pretty much every Starbucks. So I ordered Wow, that's bomb. One. Yo, that's so bomb. Yeah, it's very delicious. You know what? Give me another piece because it's not fair. You've already ate two. Okay, take it. <laughs> Yo, favorite, that's so my good. My favorite part is the... The crust. The outside. It's crunchy. It's nice. Oh, yeah. The time has come for the matcha cream soda. Let's go pick this bad boy up. Hello. Arigato. No. Oh, okay. Mix it. Thank you. Okay, wow, this looks amazing, guys. So yeah, we got the matcha down at the bottom. You can tell that it's definitely infused with soda because it's bubbling and ice cream with the cherry on top. That's Goddess's favorite line. It's me with the cherry on the top. That's the only line she from knows from the Snoop, Snoop Dogg. <laughs> <laughs> so this came with some instructions. They actually gave me this silver spoon and they told me to mix the ice cream with the drink, but Man, come on, you can't tell a you can't tell a fat boy that. I gotta try the ice cream by itself. Come on now. That's some good ice cream. Alright, let's listen to the instructions now. You said mix it. Oh, as you mix it, you can see it starts getting creamy. Okay. Interesting. That's interesting. Oh man, that looks nice actually. Alright, I think that's enough. Enough playing with the drink. Now, my favorite part. Time to try this bad boy. I'm not impressed, actually. I don't know. I don't know if I like it or if I just... I don't like it. I'm not sure. It really doesn't taste like too much of anything. The ice cream itself was really delicious. 
Okay, you know what? The first sip wasn't the greatest, but I think as the ice cream melts, it adds that little sugar um, sweetness to the matcha down below. You know what, let's try it again. No, you know what? It's just not for me. However, this cherry though. I think I just broke Gladys's heart because behind the camera, she's like, you ate the cherry? But you know what? Gladys is a lot more of a fan of matcha than I am, so. How about we let her try it? Oh my God, I wanted the cherry so bad. I'm so you sorry. Ate it all. <laughs> I'll order you another one. Let me try this one. I think, I don't Ow, know. Ow, I hurt my I'm tooth. Bien hecho por no dejarme With the cereza. cherry seed. Ow. <laughs> no, mentira. Look, um, this is very popular here in Japan. You can buy the floaties even in McDonald's. So yeah. let's see. Okay, it's weird because it's um, matcha and at the same time tastes like um, the water with gas. Yeah, it's And at the same exactly. time you can taste ice cream. Mm, it's refreshing. But do you like it is the question. Because I couldn't actually like comprehend if I like it or not. No, I like it. Okay. But it's weird, but I like it. It's it good. is weird. Yeah, you gotta try it. You know what, sometimes you need some weird things in your life. That's why I walk around with Gladys. What? You're <laughs> I'm mean. just playing. Okay, let's go to the next floor. You know what? Let me buy you another drink before you can have a cherry. On the next floor. On the next floor? Alright, let's head upstairs. Man, I'm excited. I I already forgot what's up there. Who knows? Who cares? Let's go upstairs. Alright, that matcha tea wasn't my favorite, but now it's time for us to head upstairs. Oh yeah. Oh man, it's kind of noisy up here. What do they got going on up here? Oh, this is cool. Look, all kinds of different teas on the wall. Oh man, look, we got Congo, Nicaragua, Zambia, Honduras, Brazil, Vietnam. Woohoo! All right. Oh, man, this is awesome. They got another little roastery over here as well. A lot of places to sit. I like this. Oh, and over in this direction, we actually have the cocktail bar. Wow, there's a long line for a cocktail from Starbucks. Almost longer than the line from downstairs, but you know what? I think this one, we're gonna have to make. Once again, they gave me another little buzzer and guys, that line literally took 45 minutes. I don't know how long the drinks are gonna take to come on out, but for now, I'm gonna take you guys upstairs and show you the terrace because supposedly there's a terrace here as well. All right, Gladys, I'm gonna leave you in charge to um, control the buzzer. Is that fine with you? Awesome. All right. All right, guys, well, let me take you guys on upstairs then while we wait for the drinks to come on down because yeah, this is already taking all day. So if you want to come here to, to this Starbucks location and, and experience every floor, do plan on being here for at least three or four hours unless you have like a group of friends and everybody goes lines up somewhere else because this video, which you guys don't see, it's taking a long time to film. All right, let's come up here and check this out. Oh, wow. Even on a rainy day, there's people at the rooftop. Over here, what are they doing? Oh, bagging up coffee. That's pretty impressive. Man, that is so cool. No, this Starbucks is top notch. All right, so this here is the rooftop at the Starbucks Reserve. Man, it is raining, but a lot of people are out here right now. So that's the rooftop. And I guess this here is like the bagging plant where they bag the coffee. No, seriously, this whole, this whole experience is super cool. So yeah, just a bunch of seating areas, but I guess this is the floor where you can come and just like, you know, view this process and also enjoy the terrace out back. Pretty damn cool. All right. Well, you know what? We're gonna head back downstairs now and we're gonna wait for these drinks. Hopefully the drinks don't take as long as the line took, 
because as I mentioned, we've been here for a couple hours and when you're in Tokyo for a short trip, the last thing you want to do is spend hours on end inside of a Starbucks. This is a world on its own though. And our mixed drinks, our alcoholic cocktails from Starbucks have arrived. All right, guys. Now the wait was actually not too long. It was only about 15 minutes, but hopefully totally worth it. Now, they also do give you these Starbucks reserve coasters for your drinks that I am not gonna use. You know why? Because my mom loves these, <laughs> so I'm gonna take them home to her. But um, yeah, guys, here is the pink lemon cello. Wow, that looks impressive. Now, you, all of the bartenders, you can tell they put a lot of pride and love into their beverages because they make them all real slow. It's not like when you go to a bar in downtown Seattle or in Bangkok where they're just No, here, they take their time. Oh man, this looks nice. It's pretty damn good, but yeah, you can tell there's very little, very little alcohol in there. Now this drink right here looks nice. It actually has like some pink flakes on top. This here is the Irish cream coffee cold brew. All right, you know what? This one here deserves a little mix as well. Oh man, this should be nice right here. Okay, that, that is delicious. The lemon cello, this, too good. Oh, you can taste the, the coffee and the Irish cream very well. Delicious, man. I should have ordered a few more coffee beverages, but this and the lemon cello were the signature cocktails. However, I'll leave the signature up to this one. This one is delicious, so good. All right, guys, well, you know what? I think with these two drinks, I'm gonna bring this Starbucks adventure to an end. I'm sorry, I know you guys probably wanna see the different extraction methods from the first floor, but I cannot waste any more time inside of this Starbucks. I've been here for almost four hours filming this video for you guys, so it's time to, it's time to bring this to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know what was your favorite part of this video. Let me know what part of this, of this Starbucks or which floor, better yet, surprised you the most. I think my favorite was definitely the first floor, the pizzas. The pizzas were too damn good. And then um, the second favorite has to be this Irish cream coffee. It's so delicious. However, I think the alcohol, it, it's, it's not really there. Who knows? Maybe I'll fill it after I get down to the bottom of this glass. But overall, this is a great experience. I think it's one of those things that you have to, one of those places you have to see. And even if you don't come here to sample everything from every floor, man, the roasting machine is on fire right now. That's what you're hearing in the background. But even though you don't, even if you don't experience something from every floor, if you just grab yourself one bakery item, a quick coffee or a quick little tea, and just come here and, you know, just enjoy it for a few minutes, I think, it, and, and just enjoy it for an hour or so, I think it is totally worth a stop here in Tokyo. All right, guys, for now, I gotta get on out of here. I gotta keep exploring. I got a few days left here in the city, and it's time to bring this video to an end. Later, guys. Salio Fino? Bye, guys. And of course, we gotta say bye to Gladys. Oh, are you gonna try the, you know what? Try the Irish cream because you're not a drinker. Let's see what happens. Oh my God, it's so good. It's delicious, huh? This is not alcoholic beverage. That's what I'm saying. But it's delicious, right? Mm, delicious. Cheers for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Well, Gladys, thank you so much for being such an amazing sport in this video. Thank you. See you soon.